Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode four of Haven Cave Block. Uh, today, we'll we start functional storage. So let's hop right into it. Hello, guys. I, I was about to start this recording. And uh, this guy showed up here. I checked him out to see if he was worth it. And he has kelp here. That is definitely one thing I would like to get. Uh, one piece of is kelp, especially since we're doing a doing more with Pavel or with a uh, create here relatively soon. Um, as you can see here, we're starting to get a good bit of stuff built into our uh, systems here, and. I would like to keep our storage room over here and uh, change this up a little bit. Let's see here. Uh, do we have cardboard boxes in this? Yes, 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 we do. Um, Spell dust. Let's see here. Easy spell dust is precision. That. Hmm. Pulverizer. So, yeah, we're not going to get us one right away. But I think. What I would like to do is get a storage controller set up and some compacting drawers. Notice here, in this, we're doing something that requires nether ports. Do we get nether ports yet? I don't think we have. I think that, that was what I was working on trying to figure out how we're going to do is uh, nether ports. Um, quartz dust is a sitting recipe with soul sand through string mesh, it looks like. Soul sand is uh, something we can get with fluid transformation from which one? There we go. So we just need to set up a witch water, which uh, we need mycelium spores. Let's see here. Which requires us to have a sifter with uh, that's waterlogged. Oh, that's how we were also going to get kelp. Uh, Yeah, that was my original way of getting kelp. Okay, so we we got a free one from him, but um, some dirt here. You guys may have noticed in that upper right hand corner, uh, we no longer have the day counter there. And uh, I found out how to do it. Uh, it's under a mod options. You guys want to see here. We go into mods and type in day here. It is the Haven day display config, you'll click modify, and then right there, if you want to turn it off, like I did. Uh, I mean, I don't care if people want to see their days, it's just, it's one of those things that distracts me, and uh, I lose focus on what I'm doing. making some uh, cheesy dirt. 
I'm pretty sure I showed you guys this method earlier in this series. Uh, we just have to make some quick gravel. Take that quick gravel along with the dirt that we currently have. Get four times the amount. Um, don't have it on us, do we? We, we should have it somewhere here. Ah, here it is. Okay, we got us a stone hoe, we got us a first coarse dirt. Uh, I should really look at Killing that guy off, he is a very annoying. See, he just agreed with that. Okay, we get our 32 dirt here. We set it like so. Take gravel. Got us a stack of dirt. And... The way I'm going to do this is very simply you know what? Very simply kill him. Because these guys because they're annoying. Once you show up again, I, I, I'll, I'll finish you up. Okay. Uh, I want to take this gear right here. Um, see this, this one right here is still running. Grab a bucket of water. We really need to get some mycelium. We waterlog it by shift right clicking and we see that it spreads the water everywhere. But now To get into the wooden hopper and place the dirt. You see that the dirt is going through here. Place this up on the wall real quick. Like so. We've got us some kelp, prismarine shards. We're hoping to get uh, some mycelium spores. Might have to do this for a little bit to get the mycelium. Oh, uh, there it it's got it. It's got the mycelium, so we'll wait until this is finished. Processing, we will shift right click, take pick up that water. Take our gear. Place it back there and now. This is processing out all of that stuff. Um, there we go. We've got the mycelium spores. Uh, we'll take this extra kelp out. Uh, 
which I guess we didn't need to buy from that guy. That guy ripped us off. The guy knew we were going to be working on getting us cow pierce soon. And mycelium spores. So now we've got uh, some mycelium spores. Uh, I want to turn our initial room here into a location where we're going to place some of this uh, dirt here, this coarse dirt, uh, and where is it? There we go. Should turn back into regular dirt here in a second. Uh, and we can click that with mycelium. Because we need we need quartz, okay? So he, he's really getting on my nerves. He is really getting on my nerves. Where are we getting water from that you are... Oh, that, that that's right. We have water underneath the ground somewhere close by this, don't we? Okay, we'll set this guy here. We'll put water into here. We'll get this to process. And while this is processing... Uh, we will turn some of this sand into uh, dust, or no, into, that's, that's what we were looking for, sand. Ah, uh, you finally showed yourself, wandering trader. I have to ask you a question or two. Okay. So we get which water? Soul sand. Uh, again. It'd be this one that we would stop processing. Put the soul sand in there. We'll get we'll get we'll get it here shortly. So I am going to I uh, process some sand in here uh, for a little bit. It should not take all that long for me. It won't take any time for you. I'll be right back in just a second. Okay, uh, this was just brought to my attention to bulk haunt uh, the things. And we can do that with this uh, rotational power that we already currently have. First thing we're going to need is a mechanical press, which will require us to have an iron and so an anderside casing and some shafts. So we have plenty of iron in here. So let's uh, go turn these iron dust. into iron. We get uh, one of these right here. And yes, the mycelium is actually very useful for us, the initial bit of soul sand we needed. So we did need to do that. Uh, we need couple logs. So we're going to take three of these. Uh, strip them. And andersite casings. Almost out of andersite, and I'm not liking that. I really need to come up with an easy andersite generator here soon. Uh, because... 
like stone essence, quartz essence will get us andersite. Quartz essence is, we, we would have to actually start going down this pathway. That might be the next uh, thing we work on. Next. Uh, next uh, time we play, uh, crack, uh, play this, yeah. Yeah, so <clears throat> we got three of these. Okay, so now pick up those casings, make a uh, press here. And the reason why we needed this press here, uh, which we were going to actually be making soon, we'll, we'll set it on this guy. Uh, we will toss down the four iron four iron sheet four iron four sheets. Oh, I can English today. And. Um, what we'll do with those is turn it into a propeller here with an encased fan. I just got to wait for this to ding a few times. Like it's not as fast as the this over here. Like I can put a gear, uh, a gearbox over here, set that on there and it would be a lot faster. Like, okay, so we just need one more of those guys. There we go. There we go. So we've got us our iron sheets now. Uh, those go in a pattern around an andersite alloy. Gives us our propeller. Our propeller with our shaft here will give us a encased fan. The encased fan, we're going to need a gearbox for. Um, which we're going to need to use more andersite. I might have to spend some time with the dank and uh, get some more andersite. Do we have any andersite in here? Now we have 10 pebbles. Which gives us two more of these, which is just barely enough to get those. Uh, and I need one piece of wood for this. Okay. I know we wanted to go with uh, something else today, but you know, oh, we had a lot of these lower gears already made up. Okay, we got us a gearbox. Let's make us another. No, nope, no, nope, we can't. We can't make another gearbox. So we'll come over here. Um, I think right now, where did our pickaxe go? Did we break our pickaxe? Do I have YouTube blindness again? Uh, we'll make a pickaxe. Go. And then we can make it out of iron now. Set the gearbox here. We'll have to do one this way. So we'll set the gearbox here. We'll set the, I think, in case fan this way. Nope, nope. It's pulling us in, so. Uh, 
Uh, we're going to need another gearbox. Hmm. How are we going to do that? How are we going to get another gearbox? Uh, I'll be right back when. All right, so I got more andesite here. It's an andesite alloys. Get a couple more of these uh, andesite casings. So, reason why is uh, we needed a second gearbox for the, the fan. So, there's the second gearbox. And set that there now, and the fan should be able to blow. I don't understand why I can't jump out of that hole if the fan is gone. Um, next. There it is. On a pickaxe there, then there. I will put a soul sand there. And what I'm going to do is go get a flint and steel. A flint somewhere in one of these, I know that. Oh. Right here. I can take one of these flints. Oof. We really need to get the storage set up soon. I just, I wanted to get this set up first. Alright, so we've got flint and steel. Uh, because we, we need a lot of, um, what you call it, um, quartz, nether quartz, that's it. So, I want to take some stone here, and then to stone slabs. I don't know if I need it, of course. So now we've got those nice blue particles there. We can toss all the sand right in there. Watch it turn blue for a little bit. And after a bit, uh, we'll see. It's trying to still push them into that, that piece right there. Okay, processed by any particles. And now we've got soul sand. Okay, so now we can stick the soul sand in there. And see, we get some quartz dust in here. Once we get four, yeah, there we go. We get into the next quick project. What we started out this episode talking about. Okay, another quartz. Uh, I need redstone. A bit of redstone. Take a stack with us. Let's pick a chunk of sticks. All right. So now uh, I need this here. I need a controller here. Uh oh. Ew, we need we need a, a lot more quartz. Let's see how much quartz we actually have from those fifteen, so 
Yeah, we're gonna have to let it process some more soul sand, so I will be right back once that's done. Use specs of soul sand later, and enough nether quartz for the two folk. What we need is two of these. Get the controller real quick. It requires two functional storage, some polished stone. We have some stone up here. That's the way it goes. Uh, Got to get some wood out. and built the controller. So how we're going to do this is we're going to make some uh, singles of drawers like so. I get a storage controller like so. And I think we're going to need a linking tool. Which requires gold. Gold comes from... Crushed Netherrack. Crushed Netherrack... Netherrack comes from the lava into here using uh, buckets of, or, or we're going to do a pipe method. So we should have all the stuff on us. A couple buckets, we're going to say at pipes. We'll get some uh, fluid pipes made. We'll also want to make some item pipes, which requires droppers. Which just requires us to have some cobblestone. Which we can uh, take out of our bank. So... Go, a couple of droppers. Boom. Item pipes. Simple. Simple. Uh, but what we'll do is this. We'll need a wrench. I just realized that. We're, we're going to need a wrench. Uh, wrenches are sticks and flint. And not wait till we get the storage set up over here for this. A okay, stick, stick. It's like making a uh, hammer. Okay, we can pump the lava into here. And we can take some redstone. And uh, get some nether rack this way and I'm going to process or I'm going to get some nether rack and process to get some gold and then I will be right back and roughly about a half hour later we finally got enough gold dust to make the gold ingots that we need uh, it's like about 32 nether right that I needed. Uh, started moving stuff over here. So we can uh, get the emerald gold so we can get a linking card which requires paper. Oh yeah. 
paper, sugar cane. Sugar cane comes from dirt. That's simple enough because we've got dirt. Twenty of these dirt. There we go. Like so. Dirt. Pick that up. Got twenty dirt right there in the upper corner. Did not take all that long to process this. I need what? Uh, three, six, twelve. Twelve sugar cane, but we we got two, so be more than enough and here right here be good uh, and we can place down I don't know. Snad in this pack? No. I will let this grow a little bit with the mill. Should be bone millable, right? No. How about a water? Is that possible in this pack? I had a bowl, but I think I have all my bowls uh, for shepherd's pie. All right, bowl. Surrounded by that, and a piece of bone mill gives us a watering can. We can right click the watering can, and this should speed up the tick growth of the sugar cane. No. So I just I just have to I'm at the mercy of waiting. Please pull, so there we go. Alright, so I will be right back once we get to twelve of those. And now with that, uh there, and those can go in there. We have enough papers to make a functional linking tool. Uh, we gotta have two chests, so the second one Two of these, enough to make a configuration tool and a linking tool. Now with these, simple, we we'll link this to all of these. We can even link it to this. And we can take this configuration tool and yeah, all of those are linked together, linked and configured. And now only have like what one block between here and there. Yeah, nice. So that shows us that it is right there. So if we come under 
need all of these chests. Like so. And we place these guys like so, making sure that the transfer is one. We'll have to get upgrades for these here soon, but. So. And here with a wrench like so now. Let's make sure that these are all linked up together. And that we have them going into here. Now between this episode and next episode, I'm going to clear out all of these uh, chests. Um, make sure that everything's cleared out of here. Uh, we, we can uh, build up a nice stuff, put the floor back in with just blocks here. Sort of like that. Uh, and make sure everything has its own storage space over there. So I'll do that between episodes and this episode. If you like this episode, hit that like button. If you dislike this episode, go right ahead, dislike it. Tell me why you disliked it down in the comments. It will really help me out uh, to improve. And if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button. Really, really will help me out massively. You guys are awesome. Until next time. Later, Gators.